Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and today we're going to take a look at something really cool. So we're going to have a look at Composer and um, how to use Laravel packages independent of Laravel. Okay, so you heard it. We're going to be using Laravel packages, but we are not going to be making a Laravel app. Okay. So if you have worked with Laravel, you may have noticed that it has some really cool packages that makes your development life easier. Some of these packages are the Eloquent or ORM and uh, the routing system or the routing package and the configuration package as well and the validation package so um if you're working just with regular php you can pretty much um do all the functionality that laravel provides for you but um working with laravel makes your development life so much faster and easier and hence the reason why i feel it's necessary um for one to know how to use these packages because after all they're just regular composer packages and you can just pull them into your project and you don't have to pull in everything um, that Laravel has to offer and you can use these pieces one by one. So to start we're going to take a look at Eloquent ORM in the first video of this series and the reason for that is Eloquent ORM makes working with databases easier than just using native PHP and um, if you've ever queried for users using something um, in the like of this like if you've ever done user all and it just returns for you all the users in a table you most certainly have used Eloquent and you know how elegant and easier it makes your development line. Okay, so first what we need to do is let's open up uh, our fresh um, empty folder inside of our editor. So I just run ls and you can see there's nothing in this folder and um, I have loaded that up in a virtual host. So let's load it in the browser so we can see that um, nothing is there right now. So I'll just load that up here. As you can see, it's just an empty folder. So let's um, go and do Atom and open that up in our atom editor okay so now that that's open let's um install the eloquent orm um, package using composer so it's uh it's called illuminate database so we're going to do composer require and um if the, your composer.json file doesn't exist if you do a composer require it creates it for you so don't worry about what's in there for now so let's just require those packages so it's illuminate forward slash um, database and if you're not sure how to use composer i have just recently published a full series on composer and um, it gets you up to speed with how to use composer so i'll urge you to have a look at that um, if i don't forget i'll put in the links below and um, yeah okay so let's pull in the illuminate database package and there's one more package you need to pull in so that we can make use of um, the eloquent orm so i'll let that finish and then um, i'll resume the video after that Okay, so now that we've installed Illuminate database, let's install one more package, which is uh, the Illuminate events package. So let's do a composer require Illuminate. And if you um, just finished watching my composer series, you'll know that require puts it in your composer.json file and um, save the dependencies there for you. Okay, so Illuminate forward slash events. And just press enter and wait for that to finish as well okay so we've also installed the illuminate events um, package so let's go into our text editor and see what we have now so now it's no longer an empty folder um, the require functions that we've been running have created this composer.json file and then added these two packages there which is the illuminate database and events and if you have a look at the vendors folder you will see that they are installed here as well so database and events and these support contract and container packages are just dependencies that these two packages need that's why they have been installed for us okay but we're not going to go deep into that and as i said i did cover that in another series so what we need to do is let's create an index.php file so we can show how to use um eloquent orm outside of laravel so i'll just do an index.php 